Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful <clears throat> October night here in early September uh, as the fall of 2024 keeps trying to get uh, ahead of us here. It is a Tuesday night, September 3rd, 2024 and uh, I have lost one of my Airbnb guests, and I'm uh, heading into a panic, and uh, so I figure the best way <clears throat> to get this woman back here is to, uh, is to start on a rant, and so she can come back and interrupt this rant, so I'm hoping this rant will be interrupted because uh, this isn't going to be funny. Have I lost my first vacation guest? But anyway, uh, and the other thing is I want to get this rant out of the way before uh, I guess Sandy over at Environmental Coffee House is getting ready to do a, uh, a show, I guess, on Agenda 21, not Agenda whatever it is, 25 or 45 or 47 or whatever the hell they call it, but the old Agenda 21. <clears throat> so I really want to, uh, since I'm very interested in that, <coughs> in that subject, I'm going to listen to that rant. But anyway, I guess, uh, Maybe it was part of Sandy's research into that, but I guess somewhere in her research, she uh, watched this uh, video. I don't know how old this thing is. It's got 500,000 views titled Conspiracy, Mainstream Media, or Madness, The Truth Illusion, The Truth Illusion, uh, from 2023 is when it was uh, filmed on Journeyman Film. So anyway, <clears throat> this is the description. An investigation in, into how the U.S. is now riven by radically different views on what is real and what is not. The truth illusion looks at how those deepening divisions began and how they have eroded faith and authority, spawning conspiracy theories and creating alternative realities. So, uh, anyway, I just, uh, so Sandy sent me this video last night, and, and I watched every minute of it. It's right about an hour, and I'll put the link on to it, and I encourage you to listen to it, and uh, so, of course, I have, to, I, 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 of course, I have to review this. I, I, there's no way I can let this go past, because I am in this interesting position <clears throat> where, number one, uh, I, I spent pretty much all of last week in the company of, uh, of my best friend on the planet. You know, the, the woman who is as close to a soulmate uh, as anyone I have ever had in my entire life. And she believes, uh, she is an intelligent, college-educated, uh, aware uh woman who believes every single word, if you listen to this. So my best friend in the world <clears throat> pretty much believes every single thing that, that, that you're going to hear. Maybe not some of the most <coughs> outlandish things uh, it, in this hour-long documentary. And, you know, I've, I've just been 
just spent years trying to figure out uh, how this woman could be going down the, the these obviously unadulterated horseshit rabbit holes, uh, mostly from the right, uh, the right-wing conspiracy theories. So anyway, this, uh, this uh, documentary, uh, The Truth Illusion, uh, you need to say right off the top that it has an extreme limp dick lefty bent to it, that it is coming from an extreme limp dick lefty uh, thing that, that you would pretty much think after watching this that right wingers, Trump tards, are the only people on this entire planet who believe crazy shit, who have alternate realities, and uh, w w which right off is unadulterated horseshit. Uh, the New York Times has this long article uh, today. The New York Times, not exactly the most right-wing publication, has a long article today about the limp dick lefty Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, completely unadulterated horseshit, uh, wacky conspiracy theories going around uh, the lefty social media. Uh, you know, right now, that the lefties are, are, are right up there with the right wingers, although the New York Times, and I agree, more often than not, I would think the, uh, the, the people who buy in to these conspiracies are, uh, are on the quote right, that uh, particularly, you, you, you know, not just someone like my friend who has voted for Donald Trump twice and is getting ready to vote for Donald Trump a third time, uh, she is not a maggot. She draws the line. Uh, 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 she does not worship Donald Trump, but she, you know, she's been taken in by all of his unadulterated horseshit. She swallows every fucking line of it coming out of his mouth. The, this intelligent, college-educated woman. Uh, it, 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 anyway, so I do think it's... Uh, it's, uh, it does lean towards the right, but uh, I I anybody who thinks the only people on this planet uh, believing all of this unadulterated horseshit, and uh, I know a lot of you, particularly by the end of this rant, are going to think, well, Hambone, uh, you you're believing a bunch of this unadulterated horseshit yourself. And, uh, but if anyone thinks that this is only... Trump tarred maggots that, that that are going down these absurd rabbit holes pull your head out of your ass uh, and, and and then of course do not forget that doomers that we doomers no, no matter where we stand on the political spectrum we are the most despised human beings on the planet that everybody hates us Trump tards hate us, limp dick lefties hate us, uh, anybody who points out uh, that you cannot have infinite growth on a finite planet, we are the biggest conspiratards on the planet, especially if we think there's too many goddamn people on the planet, uh, you know, these pronatalist from Donald Trump to Kamala Harris to the United Nations, anybody, uh, you know, if anything unifies the right and the left, if there's anything that a, that a Trump-tard maggot 
and a Limp Dick AOC supporter could agree on is, is that these goddamn doomers are fucking crazy. So don't forget this, guys, that doomers, we are considered the biggest fucking whack jobs of any of them by more people. There, there, there's a hell of a lot more people. Uh, but believing all of these conspiracy theories uh, than are down here in the Doomer rabbit hole. So keep that in mind when, when you're laughing at all of these conspiratards. Remember that all of these conspiratards are laughing at you for questioning uh, whether we can have infinite growth on a finite planet. And... Uh, suggesting maybe there's too fucking many people on this planet. Uh, and that, and, and, and that uh, you know, is the single biggest conspiracy on this planet. Is that everyone from uh, Donald Trump to Kamala Harris and, and, and every politician on the planet is, uh, is buying in into the single biggest conspiracy fact on this planet. They're buying in, you know, well, I mean, the biggest lie on the planet that you can have infinite growth on a finite planet. That is the single biggest lie, and it's really the only one we need to be talking about. But, of course, a, you know, as they mention in this documentary, uh, there is no better way to get everybody fighting uh, over these goddamn distractions. This is bugs in a jar. Okay? Uh, I've explained this before, what uh, the name bugs in a jar farm means. It has nothing to do with fucking lightning bugs. It is the, the, these goddamn uh, it, it, people playing us like fish. Just, just putting all of us bugs in a jar and shaking us up to get us all fighting between ourselves. Uh, while they laugh all the way to the fucking bank. This is how uh, this nefarious they uh, stay in power. Donald Trump and Kamala Harris are both shaking the jar. Okay? And, and, and I'm as, oh, not quite, but I'm almost as bad as any other fucking bug in this jar. You know, going all on and on about this. So anyway, that, of course, is never mentioned. What The most important thing about this truth illusion is not what they talk about. It's what they don't talk about. And uh, that is what we, we doomers uh, do talk about. But I anyway, I just... I was kind of going to kind of lead up to that, but I guess I'll start it off. So now, with that as a long prologue, let me just do a quick review of it. So basically, what they do is they look at three different uh, conspiracies. Out of all the conspiracy theories, they choo basically choose three to center on and then go around looking for video clips and shit, making fun uh, of people uh, who believe this shit. And uh, the three of them that they mainly center on are uh, space aliens, the corona panic, and the stolen election. Of, uh, uh, of of 2020. So I guess the space alien one is, is the one that's the least political. And, uh, you know, so they just basically take the tack and the truth illusion that anybody who believes on any single level that space aliens are real, that there, there, there is anything... Uh, 
anything uh, other than total derision for, you know, UFOs and space aliens and alien abduction and all of this shit. It is unadulterated horseshit. And anybody who believes one fucking word of it is an absolute clueless fucking moron uh, that, you, you, you know, that voted, probably voted for Donald Trump. Uh, and, and, and of course, I, I'm not going to go off on, on, on a tangent on this. Uh, if I had not spent 22 years of my life, uh, for all intents and purposes, one third of my life being, quote, abducted by space aliens, I would be much more likely to agree with these people. But, uh, and, and, and let it be said, I have never seen, you know, a, a real close-up UFO sighting. You know, we've all seen weird shit in the sky uh, over a 65-year lifetime. I've never seen a UFO. I've sure as shit never seen a space alien in, in this waking reality. Uh, so then it all gets down... Uh, you know, laugh about the, the, these alternate realities. Well, there are alternate realities. I do not, uh, I, I do not eliminate uh, the possibility of alternate realities. The, the, the little fuckers I was dealing with for 22 years were clearly interdimensional beings. Okay? They were inter dimensional beings. Uh, that is what I was dealing with. And I am satisfied with that explanation. So Andy the gardener, uh, just tell it to somebody who fucking wants to hear it. Uh, the, 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 the space aliens, are, I've dealt with poltergeist uh, I have dealt with several interdimensional beings. I do not rule out that there's uh, 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 other dimensions of reality. And, uh, and, and, and I am on the fence. I have never seen a UFO or a, quote, physical space alien, but I do not discount it. Anybody who just completely laughs off any notion about UFOs and space aliens and the whole thing is every bit as big as a clueless fucking moron as uh, you, you, you know the people uh, talk in this unadulterated horseshit uh, on, on, on YouTube. 99.9% .9 of the un uh, of the shit you hear about UFOs and space aliens, 99.9% .9 of it, unadulterated horseshit. Dulcinea, if you're listening, you're a clueless fucking moron to to believe this crap. But 0.1% uh, of the literature over the past 10,000 years is still a pretty good body of literature that you ignore at your own peril. So that's what I have to say about space aliens. Uh, 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 okay, uh, the, the, the whole stolen election, the, the steal, uh, you know, that, that bullshit how the 2020 election was stolen, <clears throat> unadulterated horseshit. Unadulterated horseshit. Okay, uh, I have never seen one shred, one iota of evidence by anything remotely related to a credible source that that election was stolen. It is unadulterated horseshit being spewed by that little spoiled brat, a two-year-old, uh, having a temper tantrum, Donald Trump. It's it, it's completely fucking unadulterated horseshit coming out of that out of that motherfucker's mouth, like like everything else. But before I get into the Corona panic, 
and beat that dead horse. Uh, 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 of course, I, I mean Donald Trump is in is, is in a class of his own. Uh, but 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 what they fail to mention anywhere in this hour long documentary is all of the unadulterated horse shit uh, coming out of, uh, of Democrats' mouths. Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, uh, every fucking one of them, uh, the, the shit coming out of their fucking mouths, particularly on the, you know, uh, of course from my perspective being a doomer and ain't gonna happen doomer, is this unadulterated horse shit with these bright green lies uh, 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 that the whole fucking ain't gonna happen renewable energy uh, phasing out fossil fuels. It is every bit as unadulterated horseshit as the 2020 election being stolen. Okay? In my book, I see no difference between Kamala Harris, uh, you know, acting like some fucking electric cars and solar panels and windmills are, are, are going to save this fucking planet. Uh, it, it, it's in the same fucking boat of unadulterated horseshit as that bullshit coming out of Donald Trump's mouth about the stolen election. And actually, the shit coming out of Kamala's mouth and AOC and the whole gang of them is more detrimental uh, to life on this planet than that crap uh, about the stolen election unadulterated fucking horseshit. It is nothing more than a b right out of the bugs in a jar divide and conquer playbook. If you are swallowing one word of that unadulterated horseshit, you're being played like a fucking fish by a lying sack of shit. You ought to be completely embarrassed of yourself. You're a clueless fucking moron. Uh, I don't care who the fuck you are, how much I love you. Okay, and of course, the third one, you know, from the quote lefty perspective, uh, what was this whole corona panic, corona pussy bullshit, uh, where, where they brought on, you know, you know, going on there and, uh, and bringing on all of these fucking lunatics, absolute lunatics, mostly talking uh, about the vaccines having, what, what, what do they call that, the 5G nanotechnology, how, how fucking Bill Gates uh, is putting 5G nanotechnology into the fucking corona panic. Uh, vaccine to kill us all, that this whole unadulterated horseshit depopulation agenda, which is the biggest bullshit conspiracy theory of them all, the granddaddy of the unadulterated horseshit uh, conspiracy theories, whether it be Agenda 21 or Corona Panic vaccines. It is some sort of a way that the New World Order wants to kill us all. If the New World Order wants to kill us all, they will cut off fossil fuels. We'll all be fucking dead in six months. It ain't ever going to happen because uh, Elon Musk and Bill Gates and Donald Trump and all the rest of them uh, cannot sell their products mainly oil or electric cars to dead people. There is nothing in it uh, for the globalist to depopulate this planet. You cannot sell an electric car or a monster truck to somebody who is dead. Cut the fucking shit. So that part, uh, but, but, but you know, I, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm not going to, to get back in, 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 into a uh, corona panic, corona pussy rant. I have never moved the needle one quarter inch from my very first corona panic rant from day one 
uh, four and a half fucking years ago, right out of the gate to this day, I have never swerved from it. Compared to what is coming down the pike, Corona panic is a bad hair day. So they, they, uh, and, 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 and of course they did not even label who they were talking to. So I think the main nutcase they were interviewing about the Corona panic, I'm pretty sure it was, uh, her name I think was uh, Catherine Austin Fitz. Catherine Austin Fitz. And she starts out sounding just like Hamba and Littletail. And she points out, uh, you know, starting out slow, where she starts is where I finish. Okay? She starts out, assuming it was uh, Dr. Fitz, and I think it was, uh, she starts out by saying uh, that 99 0.4% of human beings on this planet have not died of corona panic. 99.4% of humans have not died f from corona panic. And if she had just shut the fuck up, right, that, that's all I've ever said is I go on percentage calculator. I've been doing it for years. And what I've been talking about uh, compared to the fucking pandemics that are coming our way, uh, Corona panic is not even going to be a historical footnote. I mean, I'm you know, on a planet of 8 billion people, zero point uh, six percent of the population is still a pretty big number. Okay? It's not a fucking pandemic. Alright, and uh, d d there's one more, d there's two more points as if you haven't heard this 500 times. I'm gonna say it again. I anybody who did not get the vaccine because they were afraid of getting the vaccine is every bit as much of a vaccine pussy as any corona pussy who got the vaccine. They're, they're, you're two peas out of the same pod. You're fear strangled pussies. You're either a corona pussy on one side or you're a vaccine pussy uh, on, on on the other side, I have never gotten the vaccine for the simple reason I have never seen one iota of evidence that it is in my best interest to get the fucking vaccine. You can look at the same information I have. If you come to the conclusion you think it's in your best interest to get the fucking vaccine, get the fucking vaccine. Just keep in mind, and this is not a conspiracy theory, that they had to change the definition of the word vaccine in the dictionary in 2021. The definition of vaccine in the dictionary you will find now was not the definition of vaccine in the year 2019. That is not some right-wing conspiracy theory. And oh yeah, before I go here, uh, anybody who thinks that the only fucking people uh, uh, who have a problem with the whole corona panic narrative, the whole fucking, the whole fucking thing, are, 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 are dumb fuck, clueless moron, right-wing, uh, maggots, you are every bit as clueless as a dumb fuck uh, right-wing maggot as, uh, you know, during all this, I figured I had about 20 friends, okay, who agreed with me 100% on everything I was saying about Corona Panic through all of that time. 18 
of those 20 people despised the ground Donald Trump walked on. 18 of the 20, 9 out of 10 people that I know were hardcore anti-Trumpers. Okay, not a right-wing bone in their body. They were simply people with fucking brains who still have the power to think for themselves. Who looked at the information and reached the same conclusion that I did on day one with this bullshit uh, that compared to what is coming down the pike, Corona panic will go down in history as a bad hair day. Okay, so anyway, I give the, uh, the documentary, uh, The Truth Illusion, one and a half thumbs down. Uh, it, 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 anyway, the truth illusion. That, that, that the only, the, the most honest thing in there, uh, what was the title? The truth illusion. Okay, pick your own, uh, pick your own truth. And, and as they said, you know, in social media,